we decided that we wanted to do a program focusing around Dowland. And as you will see from the uh, the track list or from the program set, there are some of Dowland's um, most memorable songs and greatest hits, if you will. Um, but we've decided to supplement that with pieces that people may not necessarily know by composers who were working around the same time and were definitely influenced by what Dowland was doing. It's really actually quite daunting to beginning to begin um, even thinking about doing this repertoire. It's so well known. It's so beloved. And so how, just like you say, how do you make it your own? And uh, our kind of answer to that was looking at it through, first by looking at it through the lens of what makes it so special. So we're looking at it through the text. And I've done a lot of research into the pronunciation of the time. Um, so how the English language was spoken around the time of Shakespeare and then a little bit later into Dowland and around the time of 1640. And that looking into this original pronunciation has really made a personal difference for me. So much has changed when I look at this poetry, namely the entire color and sound of the language is so, is so different from what we think of today as the, the proper, you know, Shakespearean theatrical English. It's much more earthy. It's much more grounded. There is a definite um, color change, largely in thanks to a rhotic R. So you'll hear things like um, burning and breath. And there's that real, real change to the quality of the sound, to the quality of the language. Mm -hmm. 